what's up? I don't know. And then to girls, like, they be like, oh, he's so fine. Like, how can, baby, when you have been with her eight years and each fucking year, baby, looks go out the window. They go way out the window. You look way past how a motherfucker look. You start to look at how a motherfucker treats you. What y'all be having going on in your everyday life. As we all know, the popular social media rapper Lucas Coley unalived himself. He grew popularity because of Vine and his freestyles with his friends. He did stand out because he also spoke French, so it added a little je ne sais quoi to his raps. Real shit, me and you got plans. I'ma take you around the world. We're gonna take your friends. Like, bonjour, ma belle. Allez, on va à Paris. Tu viens, je vais tomber sous la tour Eiffel. <laughs> Plus, he was extremely attractive. He was a face of Wattpad for a while, so it was easy for him to build a following. Lucas and his girlfriend, Amber Harrison, were in a long-term relationship for almost a decade. They did the whole YouTube couple jizz, so their relationship for the most part was public. But their relationship was also extremely toxic. Although there were couple goals, their relationship was very toxic and manipulating. They did portray this image of being a lovely couple for the sake of their fans, but behind closed doors, it was everything but peachy. Lucas did cheat on Amber, and according to her, was a complete narcissist. Regardless of what people believe, she has spoken out about their relationship years ago and expressed that in her situation, girls would be happy to be with him because he was so attractive, and she used to think the same thing until the looks began to fade for her, when she began to see his true characteristics. He would do pretty toxic things like pick random fights with her during her menstrual cycles, and she would try to leave, but he was so possessive over her like when i was younger i really used to be like oh why she leave him because he he's so fine he's so fine he's so fine like i get it y'all i feel that shit in the depths of my fucking soul i get it i get it and then bitches be like damn why she oh he fine why she, why she leave go see you want to turn go see go see since you since you since you want to turn since you don't want to listen to the next one since he's so fucking fine go see it's gonna be cool for a little bit but, but but get comfortable. Get your little ass comfortable. Mm-hmm. Get comfortable. You ain't gonna like it. You ain't gonna fucking like it. People be wanting your man and can't even take your man. I'm telling you, I know 80% of girls who be lusting and want Lucas wouldn't, wouldn't. Man, what? Call their daddy on him. Or their brother or something. He gonna talk to you so bad, baby. What? Y'all not ready. And they be so ready. No, you, you're you not ready. You just not. And I had to really grow up and see, like, I, I be looking way past looks. I look in them eyes. Them eyes is a tell-all. Them eyes is a tell-all. And don't get me wrong, Lucas loves me. But he got his tendencies. He got his tendencies I can handle. But I know it's a lot of shit that a lot of people ain't fucking with. A lot of girls, they not going. They not going for that. No, no matter how fine you is. I'm not going. Nothing at all. Like, like nothing. I don't want two. I don't. I don't want two words being said from me, from him. I don't want to be touched. I don't even want to be loved tonight. I just want you to just leave me alone. In a sense, this did kind of remind me of Chris Brown. I remember when he was dating Karushi and all the crazy stuff was happening between them. His fans used to bully Karuchi because they thought she should be grateful to be dating someone like Chris Brown. A ton of his fans took the abuse Karuchi went through as a joke because of who Chris Brown is and because Chris Brown is also very pretty. Y'all, they used to call her Karate Chop and Carrot Cake. They used to terrorize that girl. And a lot of his fans would love to have someone like Chris Brown as their man. There was many situations that showed their relationship was anything but healthy. They broke up, rekindled, broke up, and rekindled plenty of times. But he was actively cheating on her, but still acting very possessive over her also. Like the time he heard she was at the club and showed up and forced his way into her car. Summertime fine is in the house. Run away. Back up, my G. All right, it's all good. I'm Are you for Yeah. Back up, back up, back up. All right, bro. No problem. All right, Chris. You guys back or what? Like seeing you happy, yo. Either way. <laughs> Oh, 
And he also expressed his possessiveness over her also. And did y'all be complaining about niggas being like stalkers and love with y'all kind of crazy shit and get tired of it? Well, guess what? I'm one of them niggas. If I love you, bitch, ain't nobody gonna have you. I'm gonna make you miserable. I'm gonna chase that nigga out. I'm gonna chase your ass around. And it's done. And did y'all be complaining about niggas being like stalkers and love with y'all kind of crazy shit and get tired of it? Well, guess what? I'm one of them niggas. If I love you, bitch, ain't nobody gonna have you. I'm gonna make you miserable. I'm gonna chase that nigga out. I'm gonna chase your ass around. And it's done. It even got to the point where she genuinely felt scared for her life and got a restraining order. I mean, I do have, you know, the OR in place. I mean, the RO in place. Um, but it's all good. ROs, restraining order. Yeah. So we, we live our own lives and we, that's how we move. Why did you feel that necessary? Uh, for my safety. Really? You were really afraid? Yeah. But again, Karuchi felt the need to come out and explain herself regarding the relationship because of the harassment by fans because she was with Chris Brown. Some people just can't believe someone as fine and attractive as Chris Brown who can have whoever he wants would stoop so low to DV even though he has a history of it. She tried to leave, but as we just saw, he chased her. A lot of fans are blinded by the image that they can't believe the characteristics that come with it. With Amber, a lot of people were blaming her for Luca's death without knowing the full story. Until she came out and expressed that he was very manipulative and she ran away from him because he wouldn't leave her alone. He purposely did things that he knew would affect her emotionally, like stealing her dog, posting on his Instagram story asking people to beat Amber up. One of his last posts was telling her straight up that this would be her worst birthday and that he was going to terrorize her. He was intentionally finding ways to traumatize her and that's exactly what he did. They were on the phone when he took his own life out of spite and now, days before her birthday, she has to deal with not only the emotional stress that he plagued her with, but the online stress where she now has to come out and tell her story. She had to come out and say something because a lot of times social media likes to victim blame. A lot of times traumatic things happen and people immediately want to point fingers without getting their facts correctly. For example, when PNB Rock died, a lot of people went straight to the point with pointing fingers at his girlfriend because she posted their Waffle House plate. She was being dragged on social media, even by other celebrities like Nicki Minaj. She just witnessed the death of her boyfriend, the father of her child, and people were dragging her over his death instead of the degenerates who killed him. So in this situation, people automatically assumed that it was Amber's fault at first until she was on live explaining what happened. I'm saying this with my whole heart. When it's now on you, run. Don't run. Don't run to your mama house. Run and hide. Run and hide. Run somewhere. He ain't never dropped you off. He ain't never picked you up. Run. I ran to LA. The next day I got from back from LA is when it happened. You understand what I'm saying? Still didn't calm down. It was two days. It, it didn't do nothing. It didn't do nothing. I'm just, uh, I'm just so drained. I just, I don't feel like I'm gonna be able to do anything for my, for my 30th because I feel selfish. <laughs> That's another thing. You took yourself away my birthday month. You took yourself away from me. You took Sassy away from me. And, and in life, you were stripping me. <laughs> I never want to feel love like that again. Ladies, it's not love. It's not love. It's not love. I don't give a fuck what he's talking to you. It's not love. All that being aggressive shit, it might be cute when you're young, but let a grown-ass woman in her 50s be jerked up. That's just not cute. Treat me like a lady. Respect me like a lady. You know what I mean? That shit don't be cute, y'all. It don't be cute. It's only so cute till it ain't. It's cute when it's playing. It's cute when it's serious. It ain't cute when it's serious is what I meant. I probably won't be on live for, for a long time, probably till after my birthday. Um, 
I just want to, like, I told my mom that I feel like it's selfish. <laughs> to celebrate my birthday. <laughs> it's my 30th. <laughs> it's my 30th. I have so many, I have so many plans. I mean, I'm trying. I want to, I, I want to celebrate my birthday, but I don't want to feel guilty. It's 30 days away, and I just feel so guilty because it's like, this, this y'all, it's the circumstances around it. It's the, it's the, it's the. I want to hurt you. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take myself away because I want to hurt you. That's what that is. Now she has to deal with the guilt of his manipulative actions, indeed leaving the world with his promise to traumatize her. Like this is absolutely crazy. And people want to comment on the way that she's grieving as if he didn't just put her through hell trying to get away from him. But again, because people love their parasocial relationships, because he's cute, because he's attractive, because he's pretty, they can't fathom that he would be anything but a gentleman from whatever narrative that they made up of him in their head. She's dealing with a lot and I really hope she heals from this, but I think this is a wake up call to some people to not glamorize relationships because a couple looks good together, because you don't really know what happens in these relationships. But let me know what you guys think down below and make sure you comment like and subscribe. Toodles!